Probably the biggest money-making hit of the ragtime era wasn't really a piece of ragtime, although it used the word ragtime in its title. Alexander's Ragtime Band, composed by Irving Berlin and published in 1911, um, is really an unsyncopated um, song of the era that caught on like wildfire, made him tons and tons of money. Most people don't know the full story, though, because you have to understand that Alexander's Ragtime Band caused Scott Joplin great grief. Um, at, night, at the year 1911, Scott Joplin was in New York City. He had been there since 1907, and he'd been trying so hard to find a publisher to release his second opera called Tremonitia. Over and over and over again, he was told that the public was not ready for such a serious work by a black composer. Well, one of the publishing houses that he took Tremonitia to was the young publishing firm owned by Irving Berlin. And Berlin agreed to take a look at the score. Joplin left it with him for a couple weeks. It was returned by Berlin with the same answer he'd gotten from everybody else. No, he really couldn't use it. Shortly thereafter, Berlin came out with Alexander's Ragtime Band. And when Joplin heard it, he was horrified. Because the tune was his closing melody from Premonition called Marching On. And the story goes, Joplin actually ended up having to rewrite it because of copyright. It had been copyrighted by Berlin. Indeed, till this day, the melodies share the same opening intervals. Um, we're going to play for you Irving Berlin's Alexander Ragtime Band. Thank <laughs> you. 